we are on our way out to the herb garden to see if we can find some elusive Nepeta cataria and Melissa officinalis. So, um, let's see. A lot of my garden is drying up because it has been so hot and dry here that things are just drying up. We haven't um, watered. We just went ahead and let it go because I did gather a whole lot of everything. <laughs> everything I have, I gathered a lot of. But, uh, and I cleaned these beds out, except for one. This one bed doesn't have anything else in it now. So it still has a lot of weeds and um, so everything else I do have established is starting to kind of dry up and I just left it I could have watered and watered and worried with it but like I said I, I had already gathered a lot of stuff and uh, so I just left it and let it go and um, let it go ahead and die out this year but um, I do have a need Thor, Nepeta, Cataria, which is catnip, and my Melissa officinalis, which is lemon balm. So, um, so to back up a little bit, so to back up a little bit, I made a tincture for a friend that had some stress, and she wanted something herbal for stress. And the first thing I thought of was um, Melissa Officinalis, which is lemon balm. And um, I got that together and started her a tincture. And then I had some, um, um, I have a huge plant, which is about died out of uh, catnip. So, uh, oh, I need to pick these beans too. There's a lot of beans on there I can get. Uh, anyway, that is my... Ooh, catnip back here and it about died out but it's got some pieces coming back out so I could get a little bit of that no fear it will definitely come back up next year um, and I can get what's left there and use that but um, to finish my story I um, there's my lemon balm so I had made a um, tincture uh, for a friend to help her with stress. And uh, I told her that these same plants that I was putting in there um, would be uh, help her sleep. So uh, they will relax and uh, calm the nerves and anxiety and help you sleep. And I made that, and then I made a whole jar of it and gave uh, the friend just a little dropper uh, bottle full. And uh, meanwhile, a little bit later, uh, recently, my daughter, my oldest daughter, had the same problem. And she um, wanted something, so I went and got that jar out. Um, and I had also added some chamomile uh, tincture that I had. So I've got a tincture of lemon balm, catnip, and chamomile. And um, gave it to my daughter, and she um, loved it, loved it. It helped her, it helped her relax, and helped her sleep, and helped her with her anxiety she was having at the, at the time. And now she wants more, and she has turned a friend on to it. So I've actually sold a bottle, I gave my daughter hers, but I actually sold a bottle of it to um, her friend. And she said, <laughs> my daughter said, be sure you keep that coming. <laughs> now, I told her to take a couple of droppers full before bedtime. And um, she has been taking it about three times a day, which is fine. It will not hurt at all. But she's had a lot of anxiety with some things she's going through. And she's been taking a couple of droppers full a couple, two or three times a day. 
and she said mom keep that stuff coming <laughs> there's my echinacea plant it's uh it's going down i'm gonna get root this year i have never gotten root off of it before and decided this year i'm gonna get root um and i've already gotten flowers off of it so um anyway um pepper plant he's still hanging in there so we're gonna leave him alone um so i only have that one jar of this what i'm calling stress um away is what i called it what i wrote on the bottle on the jar was stress away so i'm calling this concoction <laughs> uh this tincture stress away and um when she said keep it coming i said well you know what i've got this jar and it's only gonna last so long so um so i figured i would come out here with my handy dandy bag i got this bag i've had it for a little bit but i don't always remember to grab it but i got this little garden bag and it's got some pockets and it's got a rubber bottom and uh anyway um just got it on amazon and uh, i usually just bring a basket out here but uh, sometimes my basket is full of other stuff so i got me a little um a little bag um i do have a head cold going on if you can't tell, I've got a little fall head cold going on. And I have been taking echinacea and elderberry and uh, several different things for this little head cold. Uh, mostly tinctures that I put in a hot tea. And, um, and it's starting to help. It clears me up for about uh, two hours. And then I have to drink another cup. And uh, you know that's the thing with herbs. Um, I just recently read where um, an herbalist, um, Dr. Patrick Jones, in one of his books, said um, um, it's not like pharmaceuticals. It's totally different than pharmaceuticals and this and that. And he said uh, herbs are best taken early and often. Early meaning as soon as you start getting sick or before <laughs> before you even start getting sick. But, you know, early as soon as you start getting any kind of symptom. Early and often meaning several times a day. You know, even four or five times a day. Early and often. So, uh, so that's stuck in my head. And um, anyway, I'm going to gather some of this lemon balm. Because there are some good pieces still in there. <clears throat> it's starting to dry out. But there are some good pieces still in there. Especially down in. There's a good fresh piece. So um, I'm going to kind of dig around in there. And gather up some good pieces that I can get out of there. And I'll get the rest of that catnip over there. That's coming back up. It had kind of died out and it was coming back out. So I'll get what was coming back out over there. I don't grow chamomile, but I do have some dried that I had ordered online, so I would use that also. It's about two years old, so it's probably about at the end of its um, life, <laughs> but I'll go ahead and add it anyway and hope for the best. Hope it has some um, potency still in it, and uh, get my daughter hooked back up with her uh, stress away. <laughs> And uh, anyway, so there you go. That's what I'm doing with this. I will let these wilt just a little bit. I will take these in the house and leave them sitting out for probably the rest of the day. And uh, let them just kind of wilt just a little bit so that they uh, absorb more alcohol quickly. And um, then I will uh, put them in the jar. Uh, pour my, uh, I like using brandy because it tastes better. I know it's more expensive, but it tastes better and I can get it down better. And probably the same for anyone else. Um, so I will take these um, and pour my brandy over them and um, kind of, you know, shake them up in the jar and then put them in my cabinet and let them sit for, um, um, <clears throat> need to sit for a good month, really, before you strain them and use them. So, um, that's what I'll do. Four to six weeks. But I still have some of the others, so hopefully they won't be 
uh, completely out before I get this one made. So I did go ahead and prune that back a lot. Um, that's the uh, lemon balm. I pruned it back some and weeded a little around it. Um, it. It's hot and dry here, so it's not an ideal time to do that. But it's supposed to rain today and it is early in the morning, so hopefully it won't, um, it won't hurt that. It won't hurt that stuff. But anyway, um, I was just going to say the more you use your herbs, the more they'll grow. And that's with most any herb and a lot of the wild plants. Um, the more you cut them and use them, they will just keep giving and giving and giving. So, um, so don't be afraid to cut them back good. And um, I didn't use all that because some of it was so dried up and, and um, yucky looking. I was, you know, kind of worried about any kind of uh, pests or disease or whatever. So I just used some of the fresh new that was coming out at the bottom. And that's one reason I cut it back so I could get down to that fresh new stuff. And the more you cut it, I, I could cut that some more. And it will just make it pop out uh, new. And the same with the catnip. I'm fixing to get over there and get some of that old out. And it may still this year uh, sprout up more new. Uh, so I'll cut these way back and, and let them refresh. And uh, with those two, I'm not scared to do it this late in the year because... They are so um, almost invasive that they'll come back anyway. Okay, so I went ahead and done some of that weeding I needed to do and cut those uh, herbs back uh, a little bit. Um, my comfrey and my catnip and my lemon balm and my oregan oregano. oregano. I then cut some of them all back and uh, weeded a little bit. And uh, it is still pretty hot out here. It's supposed to be cooler today and maybe get some rain. Um, I'm going to go ahead and probably water these. I'm going to look at the radar. And if it's not going to rain real soon, I'm going to go ahead and water these. Because I've cut them back like that and, uh, and they're going to need a little help. Um, like I said, I wouldn't have done that if they aren't totally um, almost invasive. They are very... Prolif prof almost invasive plants here. <laughs> um, so, but they'll, and they'll be fine. I wouldn't do that with some of my herbs um, that I wouldn't do that with, especially thyme, because my thyme don't do too good anyway. So, um, I done worked up a sweat, and I'm ready to go in and get a drink and get these tinctures going. So, thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. Gave Smokey a piece of catnip. She's going for the whole bag.